Welcome to Big Noe Bay Man TV. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider to subscribe. Please click like and notification bell for you to get updated to our new upload videos. Stay tuned, keep on watching special shout out on the last part of the video. For this video, we are going to remember our old games during our childhood days. If you were born during 80s to 90s, this video is for you. Let's enjoy our memories together, let's watch this. This games is what we called Chinese garter games. Played with three person. Two person hold the garter at the end of the garter and the middle person who is jumping and jumping nor and don't be caught on the garter and you be out of the games. This games required strong endurance to stay playing. This one is what we called here in Philippines tumbalada. All we need is to target the can take down and run faster don't be caught on. Security of the can and you lose the game. This one is amazing and love it. Composed of friends playing together I missed it a lot. Number 3. This game's what we called Luxong Tinic. This game's played with two groups. The advantage group who is jumping in between the two person filing their hands and don't even touch their finger and you'll be out of the games this one is a lot of fun too. Number 4. Hide and Seek. This game's played with a group of friends the person who is on the base is the one who needs to find out where are they hiding for. The first person who will be in caught first would be definitely the next guard of the base. Number 5. Sack Race. This game's needs to compete jumping while inside the sack the person who jumped faster back to their base will be the winner. Number 6. Trip to Jerusalem. This game's is a lot of fun too. The mechanics of these games needs a chair and the music. The chair is not exactly the numbers of, of players who is dancing around the chair. When the music stop and you didn't sit down, you'll definitely out of the games. Quickly, these games what we called paper dance. The mechanics of this games is we need newspaper and the two person who is dancing. When the music stop, they need to step on the news for exactly not overflow their feet on the top. Next, the Kalamansi relay. The mechanics of this games is we need to relay or transfer the Kalamansi using spoon to the next person. When the Kalamansi is drop, you'll be out too. Next, the stop dance. This games is very familiar here in Philippines. The mechanics of this games is very simple. First, we need music. When music, all players should stop quickly with oh any movement. When you move, you'll out of the game. Next, get Cohen on the burn coconut. Using mouth, those who can get more Cohen is the winner. The funny thing here is when they finish the games, their faces cover with black color. Next, hit the egg or crack the egg games. The person who is going to hit the egg is on blindfold so they couldn't see the egg easily. Other teammates are going to instruct where is the egg exactly. Just follow the voice of the instructor and you will be hit the egg. Next, egg relay. This games is almost the same with the Kalamansi relay. The different here is the egg we used for the relay is not bold egg when you drop the egg. The egg will be broken and definitely lose the games too. Next, Budet's dance. This games is very much fun. No required proper steps of the dance. The more uglier dance looks like the funnier among the group. Definitely the winner. Special shout out to RR and Tola Heo from Kcast BSBA FM. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click notification bell for you to get updated for our new upload pinna payment TV video. Thank you for watching. See you to my next video. God bless.